Hi there guys, it's Sincerely here, so welcome back to the channel. So today I have another video for you all. So today I am doing a little cottagey build, it's called Cozy Calm Cottage, at least that's the name for now. So today I am building this house, I'm pretty sure, for my um, pet's let's play, which honestly, okay, I have lots to tell, lots to say, um, so hopefully I can fit it in in all of this 25 minutes. Um, anyways, so first I'll talk about my le pet's LP, and then I'll continue on other things. Um, but first off, when my pet's let's play, I will probably not be starting it on November 10th, just because a few reasons. One, I just moved into a new house, I literally have nowhere to record it, um, which I will get to in a minute of how I'm recording right now, and two, um, I don't, I mean, if I'm being honest here, I don't have the money for it, um, so I am asking for it for the holidays, so I'm hoping I will get it then, um, so yeah, that's like the only one thing I want for the holidays, so I'm like hoping I'll get it, so yeah, I mean, I have a little bit of money, but I just, I don't know, anyways, Enough about my money situation, like, dude, too personal. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be the house for my pets let's play, so I probably will possibly be starting it, I don't know, somewhere mid-December-ish um, time, I'm s uh, hoping, um, but I will do like a whole backstory and everything for, these how for this household. I have a general idea of what I'm doing for the story, but I don't have like a full-on blown idea of what I'm doing. I had an idea before I built this house, but after building this house, I'm like, oh, I have a really good idea. So I'm going to try to go with that and stick with that idea, and hopefully things will turn out okay. Um, but yeah, anyways... Besides that point, um, so if you guys know, if you guys have been like, I guess, following me on social media and I guess technically YouTube and just everything in general, um, then you probably know that I recently moved. Um, so I am still a minor. I am under 18. I'm still in high school, but I did move in with my parents into our new house. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear it. I hope you guys can. It's very echoey in this house right now. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. Um, I do have a bed and I do have some furniture in my room. Just one piece of furniture. Actually, two technically, but, um, so yeah, I hope it's not too echoey, um, but yeah, that's what I was kind of worried about. Honestly, I don't even know when I'm going to have time to record. It is a Sunday night right now. I am just chilling at home alone. I have not been wanting to record lately because everyone has been home and there's been construction worker or yeah workers at my house and I, it's just awkward, you know, to record when there's people here. Anyways, um, yeah, so let me explain my little living situation right now. So right now, we only have two bedrooms that are done in our house right now. Our kitchen is not done. Nothing is done in our house except for my sister and my sister's bedroom and my bedroom, which is great. <laughs> um, so yeah, but we are both living, so we're like, we're on the top floor and we're living in those two bedrooms right now and everything, so yeah, it's very small, tight quarters right now and it's fun, <laughs> let me just tell you that, um, but yeah, so I haven't really talked much about my moving situation at all, um, but yes, so I am in my house and it is just so crazy because our house is not done at all and it's like, it's just awkward to record and do anything while pe while these people are here. Like, I was playing music the other day ago in my room alone. I was, okay, first of all, I was home alone and then I heard one of the guys, he started, like, the one of the construction workers, he started humming along to the music. I'm like, is it really that loud? So I'm very scared to record something. <laughs> while anyone's home. Right now, my mom and my sister are at the laundromat, because as I said, none of the other houses, none of our other house is done. We don't even have a laundry room. So that's where my parents are, or my mom and my sister, and then my dad is just out. So I'm alone. I've been so scared to record. I just don't want to record because I don't want them to hear me, you know, because it's just so quiet in here. So yeah, I don't know. I'm just very scared and a little bit freaked out, um, but yeah, so I've been waiting for this moment to record, but let me tell you, I'm very excited about it, um, so yeah, right now, actually, so I don't even have a desk right now, actually, hold on, I'll talk about that later, but, so right now, I don't have a desk at all, um, if you guys didn't know this, I, um, I had a desk in my last rental house, but, yeah, okay, that, that, like, yeah, that was, like, 
their furniture, not my furniture. So yeah, um, I used to have all my sisters hand me down, hand me down furniture stuff because I'm the younger child. So <laughs> that was my situation. And um, so that's kind of like where I'm at. I have no desk or anything. All I have right now is a bed. And it's fun. <laughs> Let me tell you that. Right now, if you're wondering what I'm recording on, I have my desk chair. And this is the only thing that I have in my room besides my bed. And I have my computer on my desk chair. And I'm holding my microphone. Because I don't know if you guys know this, but I don't have a micro micro blah, microphone stand. And so... Oh my goodness, I can't even tell you. So if you guys can hear my dogs in the background, they're playing in the background, making little sniffly noises and such. Um, but yeah, so I just, I've been like home alone and I've, I'm like kind of scared to record. I keep saying that. I don't know. I just find it awkward. So yeah, but right now I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't even tell you. Like, I don't even know how I'm going to record like Let's Plays or anything like that right now. I think what I'm going to be doing probably for the next week and a half-ish is I'm probably going to be just doing a lot of speed builds and a lot of creative sims and also I might I am going to be doing a CC finds video that I've been working on for like a month now finding all the CC content but okay so <laughs> I'm probably going to be doing that but mostly I'm going to probably be doing mostly speed builds and mostly cast videos because I have to hold the mic while I'm recording otherwise it will just fall so very much fun <laughs> Oh my god, I can't even tell you guys. Um, but anyways, as I was talking about, I am going to be getting a desk, if you guys didn't know that already, um, which you didn't because I didn't tell you about it. But yes, I am going to be getting a desk for my room. I'm very excited about it. It's going to be like an L-shaped desk, so I can like put my homework on one corner. Sorry, I just hit the mic. I'm not good at this thing. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to have my like, um, it's like an L-shape, so it's going to go in the corner of my room, and one on one side, I'm going to like put my homework on there, and then on the other side, I'm going to put like my computer and stuff like that so yes I'm very excited about it it's just all coming together it's so great I'm so excited but it's all coming together very slowly <laughs> so that's the one thing oh my gosh my dogs are fighting I mean not fighting playing right now and they're just their noises ah I hope you guys can't hear them like I am such a freak when it comes to this stuff I'm like please don't hear them they're too loud I don't know but yeah, I just hope that this this recording just comes out okay. Again, just with my current living situation, ain't great right now. So yeah, but if you guys see a lot of um, speed builds coming out this week, or next week and a half, um, don't be surprised. Um, they were meant to come because I have literally no pre-recorded videos, um, except for one, which I guess I could be thankful for. Um, but yes, just my week literally has been so crazy. Also, I haven't talked to you guys since Halloween. I have actually had a lot of life things happen since Halloween. It's currently the 5th of November, and it's been six days since Halloween. Guys, isn't that crazy? Um, it was actually kind of funny, because on Twitter, I didn't realize, but I didn't change my name. So my name on Twitter was Spook Searly, Searly BTW, you can follow me on Tumblr, um, Twitter at, um, Sincerely. So go check it out. Anyways, um, so I had my name as Spook Seerly and I didn't change it until today. And I'm like, oh my God, it's been six days since Halloween. But yeah, so if you guys didn't know this, I, um, I was a sim for Halloween and oh my gosh, it was so freaking much fun. I can't even tell you guys. I was so excited about it. Ah, oh my gosh. I, me being the loser that I am, I went trick-or-treating with my friend, and it was a lot of fun, and, um, yeah, I didn't actually think I would say that on here, just because I thought people would think I'm lame, even though I know I'm lame, but yeah, so, me and my friend went trick-or-treating, oh my gosh, dogs, I'm sure you can hear them now, they're growling, bro, they, they just, like, ate dinner, and now they're, like, all crazy, like, dude, I just, I just fed you puppers, <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is a disaster. Ah, uh, okay. Anyways, um, so yes, I was a sim for Halloween, and it was so much fun. I so I I DIY'd my plum bob. Um, I made it out of like cereal cardboard, and then I put like sparkly green paper on top of it. There was actually a tutorial on YouTube that I followed. So, go YouTube. Woo! 
DIY, woo, okay, enough of me, um, but yeah, it was so much fun, we went trick-or-treating, but honestly, I mean, it was fun, but it, at the same time, it was very overwhelming for me, which is probably going to be, like, my last year of trick-or-treating or, -treating or w of whatever, just because, first of all, I'm a very anxious human being, um, I just, I'm just this tiny little being, and there's just so many people on Halloween, it's just, ah, scary, um, so I went with my friend, and she, she brought her, like, neighbor along, and first of all, having a neighbor come along is just, like, kind of awkward, and makes me anxious, because I'm like, oh no, I have to make conversation with this person, even though I don't know him very well, um, but yeah, so, I, I had, I went trick-or-treating with my friend last year, um, so this is, like, my second year of going trick-or-treating with her, um, so yeah, but, like, it was kind of interesting, just because her neighborhood, there's so many people, it is crazy, I, like, have, I, I kind of have a fear of, like, uh, lots of people, so I, I don't like having that many people around. Oh, the joys of having to record on your um, desk chair. My dog, my dogs literally turned off my recording. I don't know how they did that, but somehow they did. Anyways, as I was saying, it was just very crowded. There was lots of people, and, I mean, I've trick-or-treated, I trick-or-treated in her neighborhood last year, as I said before, but this year, it was just very hectic. Too many people, just, ah, and, like, then there was, like, this one house that was, like, Stranger Things house, which everyone's obsessed with Stranger Things. Honestly, I still, I'm still not on the bandwagon. I, I don't understand the whole thing. I mean, I'm sure people are like, you gotta watch it kind of thing, but, like, I don't know. Anyways, there was a Stranger Things house, and everyone was crowded around it, and, like, that was, like, the house where you go to, like, you go to get candy there, like, that's the go-to house, but, so we went there, and, um, it was just, like, oh my god, so many people, and, like, I, I couldn't even deal, oh my gosh, dogs, I'm sure you can hear them now, they're growling, Ugh, I swear, I'm not gonna get over this. Anyways, so yeah, there was a lot of people, and then we we went to a few other houses, and there was, like, these dancing ghost tree-like things. It was really weird, but it was kind of cool. I mean, I don't know. Her neighborhood was very much set up like a, like a neighborhood that you would see on TV, I guess, because there was, like, all the houses were decorated for Halloween. It was crazy. Um, so yeah, and then... Yeah, so we went, and there, and then so her friend went as Penny, or the little boy from It. I don't know. I don't watch horror movies, so I don't know what it is. Um, but the little boy in the raincoat. So he went as that, and he was like, um, he kept, um, oh my goodness. So he kept like pointing out people, other people that were the guy in or the person in the raincoat, and he's like, look, they're Pennywise too, or something. I'm like, okay cool. It was just kind of funny, but actually, oh my gosh, guys, it was so awesome. I can't even tell you. People actually knew what I was. People actually knew that I was a sim. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I was very, very pleased with that. Um, so yeah, there was, um, so my friend, if you guys are wondering, she went as a box ghost. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's from a TV show. Uh, I think it's Jimmy Neutron possibly, I don't know, um, it was somewhere in the 2000s, early 2000s, which, ironically, I feel like I should have watched, because, I don't know, I just feel like I should have watched that, because I'm, like, a 2000s kid, so, I don't know, I never watched it, but it's this thing called The Box Ghost, and that's what she was, and so, yeah, it was really fun, though, so I had a lot of fun, we went trick-or-treating, as I said, and, um, yeah, so we just went around trick-or-treating, putzing around. We, I feel like we were out for a really long time, but we really weren't. It was very interesting. We were only out there for, like, a few hours, and then that was it. But, yeah, so this is probably, I feel kind of sad, because this is probably going to be, like, the last year that I trick-or-treat, which is kind of sad, but, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to move on to bigger, brighter things. Um, but, yeah, I don't know if Halloween's the brightest thing, but, you know, whatever. I was actually, I wanted to watch a horror movie this year on Halloween, as in, like, a tradition to watch it. I don't know. I've never watched a horror movie, so I don't know what they're like, but, like, my friends really want, want me to watch one as well, and I'm like, I don't know about that. But, yeah, so, I mean, I sort of want to, so, like, I told him maybe on Halloween I would watch one, and maybe it's, like, the worst night to watch one on, watch a horror movie on Halloween, just because, you know, it's Halloween, but, like, I, I was... I don't know. I wanted to. Um, so yeah, I guess just the adrenaline was in me at the moment. Um, but yeah, so I 
So we did that. And then afterwards, we just kind of hung out at her house for a while. I was on my phone most of the time when we got to her house, which I felt kind of bad about. I mean, but we were both on our phones, so it was fine. But seriously, so the little boy that we were with, that was her, like, friend, neighbor thing, um, he was, like, a lot younger than us. And, I mean, I don't want to make fun of, like, little kids, but, like, he had, like, this, like, Instagram and Snapchat and everything and like honestly I didn't even get an Instagram until last year like no not even last year April of this year that was my April Fools <gasps> did I ever tell you guys that oh my gosh I don't think I did okay wait first I need to tell this little tidbit of a story so for um last year or this year for April Fools I so I tell everyone I don't want to get an Instagram for whatever reason I don't know I thought they were like very like just I don't know I thought it was too basic for a very long time and I'm just a basic person, so um, I guess he was just calling me, and so I was like, so I posted on Snapchat, and I said this whole thing of like, haha, look at me, I got an Instagram, or yeah, I got an Instagram, and then everyone's like, oh my gosh, so then they followed me on Instagram, but my Instagram had said, April Fools, this isn't a real Instagram kind of thing, and oh my god, it was so stupid, but it was kind of really funny to me, because I always told everyone I was never going to get an Instagram. Anyways, that's my stupid little story for you all. Um, yeah, I don't think I ever told you guys that, but yeah, so that's my story. Um, my grand old story. Um, but yeah, anyways, so we were at her house afterwards, just chilling out, not doing much. I was actually kind of afraid. Remember when that whole ghost, or no, not ghost, clown scare was going on last year with all those, like, creepy clown things? Um... So, yeah, I was actually kind of scared that, like, a, there was going to be some sort of clown that would jump out at me or something. I don't know. Especially with the It movie coming out this year, I don't know what to think. But, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. But, thankfully, no one did. It wasn't that scary of a Halloween, actually, which I'm very blessed about. So, I'm blessed. Hashtag blessed, as they always say. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm very glad it wasn't that scary. But, yeah. So, I didn't watch a horror movie this year. I'm very... Next year, I am determined to watch a horror movie. I'm very scared, too, but I am excited. New adventures, right? New adventures. So I'm going to watch a horror movie next year. I promise. But do I have to, like, I'm thinking, do I have to wait a whole another year to watch a horror movie? Or, like, should I do it on, like, Friday the 13th next year or something? Because I don't think there's any more Friday the 13th this year. Oh, and BTW, guys, sorry if you guys can hear me, like, my voice. I feel kind of sick right now. I mentioned this in one of my last videos, but I don't know what I'm si I don't know if I'm sick or not, but, like, for the past few days, my throat's been very congested. And I just feel icky, but, like, I haven't, like, had those, like, you know, the, like, regular, like, cold sy symptoms or anything, like, feeling really achy. I haven't really, like, felt like that, so I, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> oh my gosh, gotta get that out of the way first, right? Right. Um, so yeah, oh my gosh, my pupper's, like, staring at me right now. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't wait to make my dogs in The Sims. Ah, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Oh yes, and we also have to talk about The Sims 4 pets, or cats and dogs. Oh my gosh, I keep calling it pets. It's really not good, because then people are gonna be like, what, there's a Sims 4 pets? Does that mean horses? No. Um, but yeah, so I need to stop calling it Sims 4 pets. Um, but yeah, so it's actually kind of funny, like at the beginning of this year, I did a video, um, and I was talking, it was a speed build, and I was talking all about my weird pet stories, and eventually I will do another video about that, just because I'm sure no, none of you guys watch it, but it's, it was like a Spanish manor or something, it was called something like that, it was a Spanish house, um, but yeah, if you want to watch it, you can, but my voice isn't very good, and I'm sure it's not good right now, but it's a little bit better now. Anyways, um, <laughs> so... Where was I? Oh my goodness. Oh yes. So Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait. I literally cannot wait. But as I said, I probably won't get it on November 10th, which I'm a little bit sad about, but it's fine. I need to earn money. <laughs> That's like my one thing right now. That sounds really bad though. Like I need money, but like, um, honestly, my parents like are like, you need to start paying for stuff on your own. So I need to start earning money somehow. I'm not sure how, but I'll figure it out. Um, I could probably do babysitting. Ooh, I could do babysitting. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna look that up. Because um, I took like, a, as lame as it sounds, I took a babysitting class like two years ago and everything. And so there we go. I remember everything from that class. There we go. Perfect. Got it down. All right. <laughs> Enough of me talking and ranting. I just keep ranting and talking. Oh my goodness, I'm never gonna get to somewhere. Um, 
But yeah, so, um, anyways, where was I talking about? I keep going, oh yeah, cats and dogs, oh my gosh, stay focused. Um, so yeah, so Sims were cats and dogs, I, oh my gosh, I just, I can't, um, right now. So I watched all three streams, well, actually, that's a lie, I watched two and a half streams, I did not finish watching the third live stream from the Sims team, um, but yeah, I, oh my gosh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. So yeah, so The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, I'm very excited about. Um, I want to do, like, there's a bunch of things that are really cool in it. Like, I love how they have, like, the agility thing, and then also, like, the, like, I don't know, just, like, the vet and, like, just everything. Anyways, I could talk about that for ages, so I'm not going to, because otherwise, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, I was gonna say something. Oh my goodness, I am such a forgetful human being, and I don't know why. Um, this seems to happen to me every day, but yeah. Also, so guys, um, today, guess what? I need to tell you guys more life things about my house, because I guess I feel like I didn't really talk about it a lot, so I kind of want to talk about- Oh! Wait. I might talk about this next time, um, about my house, but this time. So if you guys know, um, so if you guys don't know about NaNoWriMo, it's like, it's- Nano something Nano Ramo. It's like national, um, national or November national November writing month, I think, and it's just basically like a writing challenge kind of thing where you have to write like a fifty thousand word like thing, um, like novel. And I I've been wanting to do this since January since I found out about Nano Ramo. Um, but if most of you guys probably don't even care about this, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, basically it's just a writing challenge where you're supposed to write 50,000 words. It's a lot. Um, I am kind of scared. I do want to do it, but this year I couldn't just because of my moving stuff and also because I don't really have a story to work on right now. Um, but I will eventually one day. I'm actually working on writing a story right now, but I don't have like all the things listed out and everything that's going to be going on for it. I'm very excited about it though, guys, because it's like a story about like this. Ah, I'm just so excited. It's this nice story. I don't really want to give it away just because I don't know. I want to eventually talk about it, but that's when I have more of it planned out. So yeah. Anyways, um, I want to talk about this house real quick, and then maybe next week I'll talk more about my house. Um, but yeah, so this house is a very cute little cottagey home. I really imagined it for like just a little family. I don't know. I was imagining upstairs was like a teenager's bedroom. I okay. So I've been obsessed with these videos on YouTube. They're like these like speed cleaning videos, just because they're so satisfying to me. And so I've been watching a bunch of those videos online lately, and I saw someone had a bed bedroom kind of design like this bedroom upstairs and I absolutely fell in love with it so I'm like girl I need to make this in the sims so that's what I did I made this in the sims I'm so freaking excited about it I can't even tell you guys I love this bedroom like this is probably one of my favorite bedrooms I've ever built like legit like I'm not joking with you <laughs> um, but yeah I love this bedroom so much it's just so cute and girly and just not that it could be it doesn't have to be for a girl, but, like, I see it for more a girl room. I hate being, like, that stereotypical kind of person, like, oh, pink is girl and boy is blue. Um, but, yeah, so it could be for a girl or boy. Whatever you want. Um, so, yeah, I, this house, I had a lot of fun building this. I, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I put a lot of detail into this house. I added a lot of, like, little things. Like, I added, like, the soap dispenser thing, and then I added, like, I don't know, just little things that you'll see throughout this house. Um, I had a I as I said before, I had a lot of fun building this house, just mostly because it's just a cute little build, and I don't know, I feel like I add a lot more detail on houses that are smaller than bigger houses, just because I feel like they're a lot easier to build, you know, and um, they take less time and less, like, straining on the brain, or not really brain, but, like, on the eyes, I guess, but this, this build took me, like, two and a half hours to build, not too bad um, for being this size of a house. I feel like it, I wish it had taken me a shorter amount of time, but I'm, it's cool. It's fine. I'm fine with it. <laughs> Whatever. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's all. It's, here's the cute little cottagey home, and um, I'm going to go. So um, yeah, oh my goodness, my pupper is biting my arm. Oh my goodness, you. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this build, and you can download it off the gallery if you would love to, and you can follow me on all my social medias down below, and everything, also my gallery page is down below, so you can do that too. Yay!
Yay! Um, oh my gosh, I am so annoying. All right, I'm gonna go. So I hope you guys all have a magical day, and I will see you guys all next time. Oh my gosh, guys, my dog was just biting my arm, and now she's looking intensely at my arm, trying to bite it. Um, that was fun. <laughs>